Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this unusual beaded bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm sure that even the beginners will be able to make it with the step-by-step -step instructions that I'm giving. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. In this way, you will be notified when I release new tutorials twice a week and sometimes I make bonus tutorials in Saturdays. And it's a good idea to hit the notification bell because in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like I have earrings matching this bracelet that I'll link here at the eye icon. So we will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you, you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and Amazon links where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm going to use are four colors of 11 o seed beads. Here I use lobster's claw clasp and the jump ring. You could use any type of clasp you like. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeter. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And I'm going to put about four feet of thread on my needle, which is 1.2 meters and I'm going to start. Okay guys, and now I have my thread on my needle and in my first step I'm going to take 8 yellow beads. Okay, and now I have my 8 on my needle, like this, and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop first and then going twice with my tail thread through this loop I've made and pull and I'm going to make one more knot make sure you're between those two bits where you started your knot from and pull then I'm going in my following two yellow beads, okay. Now what I need here are three black beads and I'm going back in circle through this yellow, okay. Now I have something like a cross of four beads here and I pull. Then in my next step, what I'm going to do is that I'm going through the following two yellow beads, like this. And again, I need three black beads. And I'm going back through the same yellow that I'm exiting out of. And I have a loop of beads here. And then I will go through the following two beads, take three again, okay, and go back here. And in my last step I'm going to repeat this, go through two yellow beads, take three blacks, and go back through this yellow, like this. Okay, now I have these guys. In my next step I'm going through this black one and I want to take five orange beads. Okay, I have my five orange and I'm skipping this middle black one, like this. Okay, then I will go through this yellow and through the following black. And by the way, in this step I will flip my work because it's easier for me to work in this direction. I'm right handed. You could also do this if you want, okay. The 
important thing is to add five orange beads around here this black one in the center so i'm exiting out of this black i'm skipping the center and i'm going through the following black okay pulling then go in this black bead And I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, I'm going through all of those orange beads in this direction. Okay, I went through all of my orange beads and I'm taking two black beads and I'm, in, I'm going in my next orange beads. See? Then I will go through all of those orange beads. Take two beads and go here in the next orange. like this and I'm going to repeat this two more times okay guys now I'm exiting here out of this orange here in the middle here I have two beads and two beads this is the middle one and I'm going to take three black beads and I'm going back in circle through this orange like this then I'm skipping the next orange here I'm between those two side orange beads here is my thread and I will take two green beads one black and two green beads again okay this is what I have on my needle and I will go here between those two side orange beads and I will exit here at this central orange bead that's sticking out the most and I'm taking three black beads going back through this orange like that and then between those two orange beads and I need two greens one black two greens like this and I go here inside this one then here in this orange and I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay guys, now I have this, this row is ready and in my next row I'm going in this black bead. And what I want to do is take 5 yellow beads. Okay, I have my 5 yellows here and I'm skipping this middle black one and going in the, the other black. Okay, then I will go here through this green and my goal is to exit out of the next black one. And here I need three yellow beads like that. Going back in circle through this black one. Like this. Then I'm going in this yellow 
and I'm going to take five black beads. Okay, I have my five here. Then I'm going back in circle through this black and I pull. Then I'm going in these two green beads and in the orange. And my goal, guys, is to exit out of my next black bead. Okay, I'm here in the black and I need five yellow beads. Okay, five. And I'm going here in this black, like this, and in the orange. And in fact, this is the last row of my work. And here I need three yellow beads. I'm going back in circle through this black one. And I'm going to surround them with blacks. Go through this yellow. Take five black beads. Okay, five. And go back through this yellow again. Like this. And I have this. Then I want to reach my next black. And I'm going to continue, guys, this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I finished my element and now I will go through all of those beads here and I'm going to exit here out of this yellow at the edge and I want to attach this clasp here Okay, and in order to attach it, I will take two black beads, go here through my clasp, then I'm going to take two more black beads, slide those down, and I'm going back in circle through this yellow, and I will reinforce my work here. This is the first element of my clasp, that is why here I'm attaching it, of my bracelet I meant. Okay, oops, sorry, I went too far. Okay guys, and here I want to find a place to make a knot. Let's say here at the angle, and in order to make a knot, I'm making here a loop, and I'm going once, and I'm going second time through this loop I've made, and I pull. Then I will go in my following seed bead, And I'm going to cut my thread, okay? Now I have uh, the first 
stage of my element of my bracelet ready okay now i will make one more element the same way and i'll be back to tell you how to attach those two okay guys and the same way like i did my first element i did my second element and now you see my thread here is almost over but i still have enough thread to attach those two elements together okay and as i'm exiting here i want to go in this direction and reach my next yellow edge okay this is the yellow edge Okay, and I'm exiting here out of this yellow. And now I want to connect it to this element here. And in order to do this, I'm going to take one orange bead. And as I'm exiting from this yellow, I'm going here through the other yellow. You see, those two yellows are connected now with one orange. And I'm going to take one more orange and I'm going back in circle through the other yellow. Okay, and now I have this, you see, when I pull, they connect perfectly. Okay, and I will go back one more time reinforcing this. It is sticking all the time because I have a lot of edges here. Okay, and now guys, I'm going to find a place and to make a knot. Okay, in order to do this, I'm going through those yellow beads in this direction. And I'm reaching here the edge where I want to make a knot, okay? I'm making here a loop. And I'm going once, and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started it from, and I pull. And in my next step, I want to go in the following bead, like this. And here, what I want to do is cut my thread, okay? And now, guys, the beginning of my bracelet is ready. And you should continue adding more and more elements. And when you think your bracelet is long enough, I'll be back to tell you how to add your jump ring and make the final rows. Okay guys, and when I continued beading, this is what I have. I added more and more elements the same way I showed you before. And now I'm here where I just connected those last elements, the last two elements of my bracelet. And I added six elements, you could add more if you want. If you're making the bracelet for a bigger wrist okay and now I will go here through all of my beads and my goal guys is to reach the other part of my element where I'm going to attach my jump ring Okay guys, and now I'm exiting here and what I want to do is take four of these beautiful black beads and I'm going to take my jump ring and I'm going back in circle through this yellow bead 
and I'm going to reinforce my work okay and I'm doing it by going twice or three times around this loop of beads here okay now I'm going through all of those three beads and here I want to make a loop and now I'm making here a loop in order to make a knot and I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull okay and then I'm going in my next bead here okay and I'm going to cut my thread this thread is not long enough to finish my bracelet with it that's why I'm cutting it and I'm going to add a new thread and I will go here around the edges and make the final step of my bracelet okay guys and now I took half an arm span of new thread on my needle this is a longer thread you know and I'm going to attach it here to this part of my bracelet okay because I'm going to make an edge and connect my elements in different points not only in the middle but around the edges okay so now I'm attaching my new thread I'm holding this tail thread with my thumb and I will attach my new thread by making here a loop by the way if you don't want to add a new thread just make uh, the last element with longer thread so you could have excessive thread to make this thing okay and I'm making a loop and going twice now through this loop I made and I pull then my goal is to go through all of those beads to reach these black beads here and to exit out of this middle black bead that's sticking out the most it's the middle one here because here you see I have two beads and here I have two beads and this is the middle one and now it is time to cut my tail thread here okay and what I want to do in my next step is take four green beads you could put orange beads as well or yellow I prefer to use green for this one and here I will go again in the middle black bead here I have two beads two beads and I'm going in the middle one that's sticking out the most okay and I pull then guys what I do is that I go through all of those beads in this direction okay and now as I'm exiting here from this middle black bead like I did before I'm going to take four more green beads like this and I will go in the middle black bead okay now I have this and I'm going to go through all of those beads 
and continue doing this until this end of this bracelet and then I will go at the other side and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and when I continue this the same way attaching the elements with four beads okay now I'm up to here up to the last bead and here I'm going to add my last four beads okay I have them here on my needle and I will go here through this black one this is the last one and I'm pulling tight to make them stay nice and tight okay and now guys what I want to do is go through my beads and reach the other part of my element okay I want to go through all of those beads and reach here and when I reach this part I will do this off camera and when I reach this part I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and off camera I went through all of my beads and my goal is to exit here through be this bead but from this side I want to reach it from this side not from the inner side but from the outer side okay and I'm going through this bead that's sticking out the most again and what I want to take are four beads like that it is absolutely the same thing that I did from the other side Oof, this bracelet is really sticky because there are a lot of curves here okay now I have this and I'm going to continue this I'm going through all of those beads adding four and I will do this until the end of this row and then I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and when I continue adding more and more beads this is what I have and here I am where I have my last four beads and I'm going to add them here in the same place like I did before and now I'm going to make a knot I will choose a place let's say here at the angle and I'm doing it the same way I showed you before okay I want to make a loop and I will go once and I will go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and I might want to repeat this knot several more times and after make I make the last knot I will go through the following seed bead and cut my thread and my bracelet will be ready okay guys and now my bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't in this way you will be notified when I release absolutely free uh, videos twice a week in Mondays and Thursdays and you will be able to make beautiful beaded jewelry and sets of course down there in description i'm linking to my facebook page where you could share your beautiful work following my tutorials and uh, you could also find links for amazon where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donation to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me